all and welcome to Stingray Tom's Florida and Day 17 of the Florida Adventure Series. Let's see what the object for today is. This is a pretty cool magnet of the Citrus Tower, which is located in Claremont. The Citrus Tower is one of three towers located on Florida's spine, the Lake Wales Ridge. The Citrus Tower is at the northern end, as well as only five miles southwest of the peninsula's highest point. That's Sugarloaf Mountain, and it's 312 feet above sea level. You can learn more about it in this video. The Citrus Tower is 228 feet above sea level at its base and rises another 226 feet. That's a total of 454 feet or 138 meters. Built in 1956, it was once the most popular tourist attraction in the Orlando area. As you can guess, the tower was designed to showcase Lake County's thousands of acres of citrus trees along with its rolling hills and beautiful lakes. Located directly on U.S. Route 27, every day thousands of tourists would find it hard not to stop at the tower on their way to and from South Florida. The original plans were reportedly for a tower only 60 feet high. Over the next few years, the height grew until it was finally tall enough to be seen for miles around. Unlike most of the contemporary attractions in Florida, the Citrus Tower was expensive from day one. There's no way to start small when the attraction is an observation tower. Because of this, Al Thacker, the owner of the land in a nearby motel, was joined by members of the local Chamber of Commerce in founding the Florida Tower Corporation. That was eventually allowed to sell stock in the venture. Thacker, who was originally from Pittsburgh, even twisted the arms of people in that city to contribute to the project. When the tower was completed in 1956, some 300 stockholders in 22 states provided the $250,000 it cost. That's nearly $3 million in 2023. The Citrus Tower would be one of the most popular attractions in the state for at least a decade, but the Florida Turnpike, which passes only three miles to the east, siphoned the lion's share of vacationers who were headed to Miami. US-27 dried up as a main artery into South Florida. And while places like Silver Springs and Cypress Gardens remained popular, the Citrus Tower didn't lure many of the drivers who were rushing by and couldn't even see the landmark from the turnpike. Then in the 80s, the unthinkable happened. A series of freezing nights over several winters combined with the arrival of the Mediterranean fruit fly to hurt the northern reaches of the citrus industry. This included Lake County. Then, a devastating bacterium was discovered in the state, one that caused a disease called citrus canker. While the disease didn't actually hurt trees directly, it caused lesions on the fruit, rendering it unsaleable. Since it was highly infectious, thousands of acres of citrus were destroyed. Around the Citrus Tower, this meant one thing. No more citrus groves. Tower visitors looked out on bare fields instead of trees, at least until the land was sold to developers and the town evolved from a citrus center to one of Orlando's bedroom communities. Claremont's population grew from a placid 7,000 in 1990 to 43,000 in 2020, a six-fold increase. One of the nice results from the growth would be a new owner of the Citrus Tower realizing that it didn't need to be a tourist attraction to make profit. And so today, the tower is popular with locals, with a coffee bar on the ground floor, with tasty drinks you can take all the way up to the refurbished observation deck. Drinks include their signature orange cream latte and orange butter cream. Check it out next time you're passing by. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for tomorrow's episode of Florida's Adventure Series 2023.